Hello, and, again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Initially, uh, they just told me to sound as close to the computer-generated voice as possible. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. But as Portal continues, and you realize that the computer is kind of crazy, it became more important to have a more flexible quote-unquote program. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. Harder to do with a computer-generated sound than with a real person and, bottom line, cheaper. Cheaper to do with a real person. Who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> that eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. I thought of Carolyn as a sort of typical 1950s, 60s secretary. You know, bright, perky, uh, wanting to please, young, innocent, and hardworking. Always ready to do filing, always ready to do whatever the boss asked her to do. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. The turrets. Hello. I thought of the turret voice as, as really sort of a little chipmunk voice. Uh... I, I thought of it as a little animal. And when I did that, it was like, oh yeah, that's it. That's the turrets. Target acquired. I have to say that any voice that I create comes from my inside feelings and then manifests into my voice, manifests through my vocal cords. But it's something that I have to feel in my gut first. <laughs>